Welcome at Octopus. This is our tutorial for easy refilling HP 934-935 inkjet cartridges. It was a tough nut to crack, but here they are now, fresh from the lab, Octopus Fluids pigmented refillings for these cartridges. Here you can see an empty HP 935 cartridge, and we're going to use that cartridge to demonstrate to you a really simple and easy way to refill these cartridges. Basically, there are a couple of options that you have to refill these cartridge, but due to some characteristics of it, we have chosen the way you will see here. In our tutorial, we are going to use a pipette to drip the refill ink out of the pipette or the refill syringe, whatever you would like to use, on the sponge material in the cartridge directly. The reason why we have chosen the dripping method is the sponge material that is used in these cartridges. The sponge material used in HP 934 and HP 935 cartridges is very dense. The main function of these sponges is to store the ink inside the cartridges. The advantage of the dripping method is that the sponge takes in the refill ink into each part of the sponge and you avoid overfilling of the cartridge. Overfilling may lead to a dripping or leaking cartridge. When you have it available, you can use a scale to measure the empty weight of your cartridge. In comparison to the full weight, then you know how many grams of ink are missing in that cartridge. A standard yield HP 935 cartridge has a full weight of 24 grams. And as you can see here, our empty cartridge has a weight of 19 grams. So we know 5 grams of ink are missing in this cartridge. The pipette that we are using in our refill tutorial here can take in a volume up to one milliliter, so we are planning to fill that pipette five times to get one milliliter into the cartridge with each filling. We take the magenta refill link into our pipette and start to drip it drop by drop on the sponge material in the ink port. With a little practice it takes you let's say two or three minutes to refill five milliliters of refilling into this cartridge. But actually we would like to save your time, so we're playing the refill of the cartridge at a higher speed. The first milliliter of refilling has been filled into the cartridge and we take a quick check on the scale. You can see that we have reached 20 grams. So not everyone has a letter scale available, but you can also use that dripping method to refill your HP 934 HP 935 cartridges. As you can see here, it always takes a little time that the sponge absorbs the refilling that you drop on it. As long as it absorbs the ink, you know, it still can take some, some quantity of ink inside. If it should occur that you drip on refilling and it is not absorbed by the sponge anymore, that means the refilling remains in the ink port, then you know that the sponge is saturated with ink completely. In total we have filled our pipette five times, so we could bring in a total quantity of five milliliters and we came really close to our aim to go back to the original weight of the cartridge, really close to 24 grams. If you cannot meet the original weight by 100%, that's not that bad because Printing with a refilled HP 934-935 cartridge is working at the current state with deactivated, that means without ink level control only. So please monitor your printouts closely all the time. If a color fades away or it should missing in your printouts, please refill that color immediately. The cartridge is refilled now, but there's something you need to check. On the upper side you have an airport and an air duct that is located below the label on the upper side. Please make sure that the air port and the air duct as well are free of any ink or anything else. This makes sure that the ink can flow towards the printhead sufficiently. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your time. Please do not forget to subscribe to the Octopus video channel. We are looking forward to your questions, comments and likes. and. We hope that we will see you back on another Octopus TV session in the future.